Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Prey. Now we're back in the Neuromod Division because there's one thing we forgot to do while we were here, but first... Ah, 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 oh god! Ah, 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 nailed it. Okay, so in here, we need to mate we need to meet with Igwe so that we can, uh, I don't know, rip some Neuromods out of Doll, which is something always fun to do, so... I'm gonna bring my Q-Gun- Oh, hey, how's it going in here? Hello! Dr. Yu. Uh-huh. Morgan. Yeah. I was afraid you wouldn't make it. Uh-huh. The subject... Doll has been... <laughs> secure. <laughs> he seems happy about I've it. I isolated the correct neuromod. It is essential we say as little as possible of what has happened on the station and focus on the situation. Doll, memory serves, should resort to field training and react accordingly. Hmm. He was never one to question orders. <laughs> and when you are, Morgan. Uh, he doesn't have anything to say Remember, about that? Oh. This works. Say nothing. Oh, okay. All right, then. Sure, all right. Perform neurotomy. <laughs> ah. Wait, what happens if I engage the surgical harness? Oh. When extracted, Dell's memory should revert back to the inception date. And he should forget his assignment here. Ooh. Hang on, neural scan. Dr. Yu. Morgan. Ooh. Uh huh. Okay. Debrief. Oh. Ah. Okay. All right. Here we Dr. go. Yu? I'm getting it. Ready when you are. Bloop. Suck it out of his brain. Get rid of all that shit. <laughs> What? Who are you? Morgan? Your father's... been asking about you. And Alex. I was supposed to report to him about her retrieval after modding up. Where am I? Why am I restrained? Commander. Dog. I am Dr. Igwe. Chief... physician here. You've... I've seen your face in the company directory. Alex's pet. The discredited parapsychologist. Ah. Commander Dahl, you've suffered a severe head injury as a result of a crisis here on the station. We need to evacuate at once, but we... we couldn't leave without you. You're a great actor, Are man! Are you able to pilot a shuttle? What? Yes, of course I can pilot a... Wait, what emergency? Is this Argus installation? Where's Casper? I'm afraid there's no time to explain. We need to get to the shuttle bay and prepare for departure. Transtar mandate. Doctor, you can confirm. Of course. Morgan, you look like shit. Thanks, man. All right, let's get Daddy's precious child off the station, or Transtar will blackbox me. <laughs> okay. Thank Just you! Need to check your vitals. Wouldn't want our pilot to faint. There's nothing wrong with me. Can I talk to you? Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. We'll I got Typhon in my blood. Blah 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 blah. Shut it in my eye. Got it in my brain. Blah blah blah. We ripped it out of your head. It's by design that I can predict what you're going to do fairly often. And yet, this turn of events with Dahl. I'm impressed and surprised you've managed to find a way to get remaining the crew off the station. We'll catch up. I have no doubt they'll remember your sacrifice. Hmm. Yeah, my sacrifice. Well, hey! That's kinda good! Oh, Luther Glass. Oh. I guess I can't do that anymore. Oh, oops! <laughs> oh, well, Luther Glass isn't gonna be... ...here anymore. Well, that's sad. Oh, I didn't... Nice. I didn't think there was anything that I could have done for him anyway, but it seems like I've already been through here, and, uh... I can do a little bit of a fix-up, but anyway, that's the last thing we need to do, and just in case... I think what this means, just in case we blow up the place, that means that we can... Let people live. We're in life support now. It's all clear. Air's normal across the board. Okay. I lost some good people fighting the black boxes. Sorry. And Dal wasn't here. If you see him before I do... Make him pay. You know, you, hey, Lazar, out. Mm, you might not want to do that when he's your ride out of here. So I think, I think as far as I know, save Ronnie. 
killed the Typhon that was controlling Ronnie and the others? Oh! Uh -huh. Ah! Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so Doll's gonna contact me from the shuttle, and I need to go to the Arboretum anyway for all of that. Uh, scoopity! <laughs> and then we just need to go through here and we need to go back to the Arboretum, which means we need to fly through the center of all that bullshit in the lobby, and then go to the end. I have a funny feeling this game is gonna end with me fighting a gigantic Typhon monstrosity. No matter what I do, a la Dead Space. That was my favorite thing about Dead Space 1 was the giant, giant freaking thing popping out of the ground there. And then crushing it with a giant piece of rock. No more brutal way to kill something than that. Hippity hoo ha! No one sees me, no one sees me, no one sees me, hey! Oh, missed me, baby. Bye 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 bye. Bye bye! Okay. I just need to go up here. And then I need to take care of everything that I need to take care of. And hopefully that means I'm gonna be okay. Probably doesn't, but you know, one can hope. One can always hope. Alright, here we go. So... Oh, oh yeah, the other side, duh. Just an idiot waiting for things to happen that aren't gonna happen. Ugh, any day now. Skudushki. Okay, so... I mean, it really comes down to this. I just gotta go meet Alex and maybe talk to Ronnie on the way, but... I really just gotta go meet with Alex and get the arming key and then decide whether to blow this whole sum bitch up, don't I? I mean, that's what it amounts to. That's what we've been working towards this whole time. So, I mean, why not? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's gonna be a tough decision. I mean, or maybe it's not because it seems like the ultimate end of this is that the Typhon are fucking unstoppable. So you gotta blow them up where you can. Oh, oh, I need to go up there. Ah, ah! Miss me! Miss me! Whoa! Slide! Miss me. Alright, sweet. Ah! Slide! Whoa! That was awesome! Did I get any of his goop left? Was all of his goop gone? Seems like all of his goop might be gone. Hello? Anybody in here? Anybody alive? Huh. Well, I guess there's no one here. Might as well keep going then. Oh boy. Someone's coming up. Someone's about to get- Whoa, yeah, get blasted. Ah, Booski! Ooh! I like this gun. I like this gun a lot. I wish I knew- Whoa! No! Woo! Woo, Nelly! This is awesome! This is awesome! Alright. Maybe I could use it to take care of that guy. I just want to see if it works out well. Let me just first point. Okay. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Whoa! Ah! No, 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 no! Let's just use small little things on you guys. Oh, oh, oh! Ah! Nope! No, 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 no! There's a lot of you. No, no, no. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. Wow. Shockingly effective. Why have I not been using that the whole time? Boink. Hey. Thank you. I'll take the Q-beam cells because I love those. Alright. So now we just gotta go meet up with Alex and not get shocked by this thing. So let's do that. Alright. Oh, hey, hey, hey. You don't need to bother me. I don't need to bother you. You don't need to bother me. whoop -dee. Alright, I guess it comes down to this. This is weird. It's weird. I don't know where Ronnie went, but oh, hey, hey, I didn't know you could come up here. Hey, where's my Q beam? Whoa. Oh, neato. Neato burrito. Frick, dude. This gun is really cool. This gun is really cool. Man, I could have been taking out so many big things. I'll save it in case there's a boss later, but. Alright, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm prepping up to fight Alex here. Let's take my glue gun. Just in case I need to spread some extra glue in here. Alex? Alex? A Alex? Where are you? You in the wall, Alex? Oh. I know where you are. Skidooski. Alex? What? 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 Huh? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Wait, what's going on here? 
Oh, 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 really? What? He's been there the whole time? What the hell? I promised you my arming cape. All I ask is you hear me out first. Okay. And you can blow Talos one to pieces if that's what you think is best. Okay. I don't think you'll do it. I know. Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. You showed me anything was possible, even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the Transtar board of directors, not mom and dad. You and I. Just like we planned. We got the data to confirm what you suspected. And Carl is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message? And who is listening to it? I think you know. Ever since we first tested the Typhon Neuromods, you've known. This fabrication plan is for the Null Wave device prototype you can see. It will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Take it. Okay. And the army key, like I pro. What? Morgan! What? Oh, hi! Whoa! Whoa, Ronnie! Oh, no! Oh! I knew it! I knew it! Oh, I knew it! Giant Typhon! Oh, hi! Hi! Oh, hi! Oh, hi! Alex, you all right there, buddy? Whoa, hey, whoa. What the fuck? He's unconscious. How the hell did that happen? Hang on. Come here. Whoa, Alex, where'd you go? Whoa, what is that? Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. Holy shit. Can't complete more specimens required. Hang on, I gotta get him in the door, right? How do I, am I carrying him? Come here, you. Come here, you. I'm gonna carry you into this, whoa, where am I, 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 where did I go? Okay, there we go. I need to get him in the safe room. Get Alex. Get to Alex before he dies. I know that. I've got him. He's here. He's floating with me. So he needs to go in the safe room. Ah, it's dark in here. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. All right. So we got to put him there. Okay. He's fine, I think. All right. So I need to use... I'll take this. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take the cola, that, uh, he can have the food, I guess. He can take the pistol, too, I don't want to take everything from him. On account of Fermi's questions, considering that there are a billion stars in the galaxy, if a civilization is before ours, it seems so. Oh yeah, the Fermi paradox. Alright, Alex, you have fun in there when the gravity turns back on. I'm sure you'll do fine. Oh, oh brother mine. Gadooski! Okay. So he's in there. Okay, so he's locked up real tight. Whoa. Well, this seems bad. <sighs> okay. Morgan. <laughs> Thank you for what you did. You could have left me to die. It's more important than ever now that we finish this the right way. Take care of the no wife device. I'll head for the bridge as soon as I catch my breath. Okay, all right then. As soon as gravity turns back on or something. Okay, so th this is it. I can either I can either blow everything to shit or I can you know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, let me just review my options and the objectives here. A mind without limits, fabricate the null wave device or self-destruct. Ooh. 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 Aha. Oh. This is, uh, 
Ah! So, uh... Oh, man, this is where it really comes down to. Do I, do I trust in the idea that this Null Wave device, the prototype, is even going to work? Or do I just blow it all up? I mean, even if I blow it all up, would it actually stop anything? That's my main question. Because it's not something that is specifically targeting the Typhon. But this Null Wave device seems... It just says disrupt, though. Uh, uh. Maybe if I do both. Maybe I can do both. Because it doesn't say the one is exclusive to the other. I can always put the no wave device there and then also blow it up. If that don't work. Maybe. I'm gonna try that one because it seems... I don't know. It seems like there's a lot of, like, crazy stuff going on here and there's a lot of options to go through it, but I do want to try to fabricate this. I don't know where to fabricate it, but... Reactor console down there, and I don't know where the other objective is. Woo, hey, military operator. Oh, Nelly, it's so hard to get my bearings here. Sorry if you guys are- Oh, hey! Hi, buddy! Oh, boy! Okay, bye! Alright, fine then. Jesus. Alright, I'm just gonna try to get down to the ground. I need to find a fabricator, no matter what, if I'm gonna build this in the first place. Jeez. Ugh. That's super weird. Scan complete. More specimens required. I wonder if that could kill me. Probably. Anyway, I'm gonna find a fabricator. As best I can. I think there's a fabricator down here? In deep storage? I, I, I think there is. Pretty sure. Either way, I'm gonna be back once I've- Well, maybe not, because I can't go that way. Never mind. That was all a bunch of lies. I'm not gonna go that way, then. Okie dokie, then. I guess I'm gonna go- There's probably a fabricator down by the reactor. So at least I can make the decision to do it there, because it- Ow! Because it's either one or the other, right? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Owie! Owie, owie! Ooh, ow! Ow! Goddamn- Oh, no! No, 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 no. Jesus. Being in zero gravity is more hazardous than I thought for different reasons. Good afternoon, Talos. Thank in you. In the event of a loss of atmosphere, gravity, or other serious emergency, uh -huh. please report to the nearest muster station. Uh huh. I don't know what muster station means. Fucking. Come on. Let's gloop it. Gloop it. Okay, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. All right, either way, I'm gonna go down here because I know this fabricator's down here and I bet it's kind of guiding me along to either go to the reactor console or to the null wave. I'm surprised that January hasn't had any opinion on the null wave device, considering he's kind of got my brain in him. But only to a certain extent, though. Man, I just don't know what to do. Like, what... What could it all lead to? Like, what would one do versus the other? But there's no point in standing you around. anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds. History. You program me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. Uh huh. A typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos One for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station, just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? But didn't you hear him? The null way. Alex is correct. It could work and preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Igwe, look at the alien outside the station. Of course it's a risk, but we've seen the generator work. To destroy all this, to murder a species, and the research, lost, it's... January is right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth, even if one of them hit their side. Morgan, please. Destroying the station should be the last option, not the first. Huh. Well, set it up for both, I guess. You never know. Can I get some opinions? We don't have much time, Morgan. Well, talk to me. I disagree strongly with people who advocate for the removal of instructive consequences because they want to live in a world where no personal pleasure is ever denied. This is it. Either you destroy Talos One, or that creature destroys us, Morgan. Okay, comes down to that, huh? Yeah, any words for this? No, you got nothing. Okay. All right, then. I'll just make this decision on my own, then. No help for anybody. Oh, boy. So... Uh, 
My thought is Martin. destruction is the most certain method of getting rid of everything. It, it would be the most definitive way to ensure that these things all die. Probably. Unless, uh, man, unless actually the null wave is something that's going to actually help more. But my thought is, my thought is that it, uh, my thought is that I don't know. Like, honestly, I don't know. There's no real rational way. Like, both have the positives and the negatives. So it's kind of hard to determine which is actually going to work. So if I, I, I need to go down to, I'm guessing I need to go down to, oh, I needed to, oh, I needed to make the damn thing. Frick a dick. I hope I didn't use up all my materials. So I'm gonna have to disassemble something I don't want to disassemble. Ugh. But if I make the thing and then place it somewhere, I guess maybe it's going to be okay. Or at least it will give me the option. Alright, let's see this thing. Coral detector, prototype, null wave. Of course! So now I gotta disassemble some bullshit here. Uh, my trusty wrench, nah, these, nah, this, I don't have enough of that one, this one, no, nah, not enough of that. Oh, frick. What can I disassemble? Spare parts. I've got a lot of spare parts. I can, I can, I can split some of those. All right, that's good enough. All right, let's put that in there. Oh, crank that out, that bad boy. Splat that in there. Okay, so we're making the prototype no wave transmitter. We're just making it. We don't know for certain. Ah, not very impressive, I guess. The heart of the coral is in psychotronics, in the original containment cylinder. Uh huh. Placing the null wave device there will override the entire coral network with our own signal. Use your psychoscope to locate the exact spot. Okay. So. Oh, I don't know. Hey, it's dark outside. I'm gonna place it there. It doesn't mean that it gets set off. I'm just gonna place it. I'm just gonna place it and see what they tell me because they're gonna talk me through this. At least I'm gonna have a little bit more info before I actually commit because you have to detonate it from the bridge no matter what you do. And I'm just gonna see if it's one or exclusive or the other. God, I hate, it. I hate that it doesn't give you like one that's morally better than the other because both have positives and negatives. It just all depends on whether you trust technology enough to target specifically the Typhon but I guess it wouldn't completely outright kill the Typhon. If it hasn't occurred to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the Apex, but all my models point to suffering. Ugh. All your models point to suffering? Oh boy. If you scan the Apex, like what does that even mean? Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. oh boy. Oh wow, wow, how did that happen? Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Ooh! Owie. Stop it! Stop it! Yeesh. Oh boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Moving right along. Let me repair my suit a little bit. Ugh. Fuck a duck. This is getting pretty dank in here. Oh, time for Q-beam. No, not that. That's not what I wanted. Oh! Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Ah, boom! All right, we got that. Frick a dick. Oh, hi. What are you still doing here? Aaron? Are you kidding me, Aaron? You're just, you're just staring at the wall? Aaron? You all right? Look at the walls. I've seen creatures like that. Before they get in the ocean or something. Yeah, sure. Bottom of the ocean. That's what we're going to talk about here. Okay, so... I have to scan that, and I have to get in there, and there's a lot of radiation. I don't know if this is gonna be like a finality type thing, but I just wanna... Oh, this is open now. Oh, okay. Whoa! Ow! Flap. Frick. Million dollar cock gun? Well, yeah, I guess that would be done now. Oh, maybe I have already been in here. Yeah. Looks like maybe I have. Oh. Uh, weird. What's over here? Suspect holding. Ha! Ah! I know I didn't need the Q-beam for that, but it just felt satisfying. Who in here? Who's in here? Okay, everything's fine. 
Mm. So much exotic material in this particular lab. Okay. I have a funny feeling. I am kind of leaning towards blow it all up. That is what I'm leaning towards, but you never know with these things. Yeah. Okay, heart of the coral, huh? Heart of the coral? What is this gonna do? Ooh! Kill them. Adrenaline. And another dose of Morgan Cellite. Do it. That should do it. Come to the bridge. We can finish this thing once and for all. Assume Alex's plan succeeds. Then what? You're taking a massive gamble that there aren't more predators like the Typhon. In the history of the universe, humans have only recently become self-aware. Yet you're going to kick the door open on a much wider and older cosmic ecology. One that feeds on consciousness. These are shark-infested waters. Alex believes we can be the bigger shark. But what if we're just poor swimmers, and now there's blood in the water? Well, okay, that's not a very good- that's not a very good argument because you're basically just saying, like, we can't risk it, therefore we don't explore. But I think what this reveals with that inject more of Morgan's cell lines is, I've gotta be fake! Like, I've gotta be fake, I have to be, right? There's no way. Like, I'm not real. I'm not really Morgan, you know what I mean? I'm not. So there's gotta be something else about that, there's gotta be something else there. I'm gonna go... Oh shit, I forgot to put the lightning there. Ooh, thankfully that didn't zap me because I don't have enough health back. But I've gotta be fake. I've gotta be. There's no way I'm really Morgan. Or whatever that means, you know? Whatever, like, the, the end result of that is. Oh. So I'm gonna go down to the reactor and then I'm gonna prep that because apparently it's all controlled from the bridge. So you might as well do both. Let me just see if it's still an objective here. Yeah, you can access self-destruct controls. And I have both the arm and key, so there's no point in not prepping it for that just to get both sides of the argument here. So down to the reactor I go. I think I get through it from life support for some reason. I don't know why. Shabbity-boop-boop. Oh, was there a medical officer over here? Please tell me there was. Oh, no, but I got no! Shit! <laughs> Frick. Forgot about that thing. I don't know why I don't just repair those things as time goes on because I am a dummy. I am a big dumb dummy dumb. Sell all my spare parts for freaking mineral materials. Even though I don't have any freaking plant life. All the plant life has been scoured across this entire station. There's nothing left. I kept eating all the food, so I guess what was there. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Thank you for that. <laughs> Asshole. There we go. Splay it. All right, what do we got? I'm gonna put that in there. Put this in there, and this, and this, so we have something. Oh yeah, and the anti-rat. I forgot about that. You know what? I'll put that in there too. Who needs it? Maybe not all of it. Maybe just a split of it. One. How do I? Oh, this, this, and that, and then that, and then that, and then that, and then blam! I'm gonna make some med kits, cause goddamn. Scooby-Doo. Okay. Oh, there's no fabricator in here. Eh, thick. Eh, thick. Yeah, fuck no. Okay, whatever. Let's get out of here. We'll hit a fabricator on the way. I'm sure we will. Skidoodly do, skidoodly do, skidoodly do, skidoodly do, skidoodly do, skidoodly do, skidoodly. I'm assuming the life support debu. Do I need to go down there? Yeah, I'm assuming that. Doodly do. Yeah, it's down there. All right. So what I need to do is I need to prep it, and I'm sure. I'm sure maybe if you do both, actually no, if he uses the null wave, it's probably gonna hit me super hard. Like super, super hard. Like crazy hard. Here's a crazy theory. Does Alex even have a brother? Is Morgan even really, you know, in existence? You know, maybe they were just doing that preparatory stage just to say, Try to ingrain that Morgan has a backstory, you know, try to ingrain his life that they constructed here. I don't know, it just seems all so fabricated. And maybe everyone else is fooled too into thinking that Alex has a brother and it was all meant to be an emotional appeal. Oh, forgot about that one too. Rick, I am not doing well. I got no health. 
Ah, boy. Oh, boy, here. But maybe, you know, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yee. Ah! 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 Okay. But maybe. Maybe he fabricated the whole brother thing just to make it an emotional appeal so that I would be, you know, interested in actually helping him and actually saving him. What would have happened if I had just let him die? God. So many different things. That's super weird. God, there's so many questions, and I'm sure I'm gonna get answers soon, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm really curious as to what's going on. So I just gotta blast through here. Oh, can you? No, I don't need you. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Ugh. I hate not knowing. I hate being in the lurch. What was even the point of fixing up this coolant chamber, by the way? I can't even remember what the point of that was. Ugh. Thanks. Okay, whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. Oh boy, oh boy. Ooh, let me take one of these. Let me grab this. Oh man, this place is heavily defended. Oh boy, I'm gonna go back up. Ah, God, I'm not gonna... Okay, I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna die in the elevator. Oh, great! Oh, fucking hell. Oh, medical officer! Med medical operator, please! Thank you! Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Okay, well at least I have the tools with which to fight these guys now. Meaning health. And uh, if I remember correctly, a whole lot of this. Oh, I'm gonna get out of here. Ooh, skadoodly. Whoa. Okay, did that that did a lot of damage to him. Whoa, okay, that's not enough, apparently. I'm gonna hit you with this! Blap! 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 Hey! Good God! It's insanity! Why were they all in there? Why? Why? Fuck. Why? Okay. So, reactor is way down there. It's obviously the harder to get to, so... I'm thinking that maybe, as like a by design kind of thing, it's supposed to be this one. Uh-oh. Gotta go. Gotta go. Come on. Come on. Oh. Button! Okay, gotta go back up. Oh, hey, what the hell is this? Ooh, key receptacle. Alright, I'm just gonna arm it. Mm, that's all I'm gonna do. Fuck. You are here. Alright, fine then. So... Arming key. Arming key. Activate. Activate. Woo! Alright! So those are armed! So whatever that means, I gotta go. I gotta get all the way back up, but I gotta go. Yeah. So now that the options are open to me, I'm sure if I get to the bridge, People are gonna give some last compelling arguments to either side. Uh, if I remember how to go correctly here, which I don't think I do. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Hurry. Come on. It's right there. Climb it. It's right there. Fucking hell. Are you ki Oh my god. Are you ki Oh my god. Fucking hell. Oh, okay. All right then. That's fine. Get blown. Fuck. Jesus, Jesus. Okay, so they fucked up my entire landing here, but maybe that's for the best. Ah, uh, why? Who is doing that? Fuck you, man! Oh, fuck you! Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Son of a bitch. Alright, just let me climb my stupid shaft. Oh, come on. Okay. Maybe this one's gonna work this time. There we go. How did I climb this in such a blind fury before? There's no way that I would have been able to survive this. There's no way I should have been able to survive this. Oh, hello. Okay. Skadoodly! Yeah! Alright, and where did I go before? Oh, I can't remember now. 
Up here, maybe? Seems about right. Maybe? Okay, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. We're going up, at least. That's awfully nice. Oop. Oh, no! Worst time! Worst time! Oh, God, no! Oh, frick. Okay, there was another way to go. I know that. I know I went another way the, the other time that I went up here. I know that. So there's got to be a way to go up higher. Oh, this is ridiculous. Was it here? Oh, okay, okay, it's here. Hi, what are you doing up here? Get down. Ah, come on! Where am I? Okay. Aha, aha. Ah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Jesus. Wow, fire. I remember that burning my crotch. Okay, gotta keep going though. Almost there. Yep, that's good. Up there. Up here. Over here. Skadoodly. Hurdle it. Bleep blorp. Babbly bobbly boop. Ugh. And we're here. Okay, let's get out of here. Now that we got all this shit out of the way and we got both arm and keys in there, now we got the decision to make at the bridge. And I'm sure people are going to argue with me either way. And I don't know why Doll hasn't talked to me yet. Because he should have been talking to me way before. Because he's got to be over at his place by now. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I know. Invaluable. Invaluable. Whatever the fuck you say, man. How did I get up there again? I've totally forgotten. Oh yeah, I built myself a staircase out of glue. But officially, right at the end here, I've run out of glue. Who'd have thought it was even possible that I could run out of glue? Alright, but here we go. I've got plenty of ammo for whatever final battle it's got for me, which I know it's gonna do something with the, the big guy up there. Or out there. <sighs> Man, so, the Typhon is weird because... It obviously has like a home world. That's what I've been seeing in my uh in my brain. So it could be the Typhon is telling me to kill them all. It could be that. Like that could be the truth of it. And maybe blowing up this station is what it wants me to do instead of what I should do. You know what I mean? But then like, am I a Typhon or am I a human? Like that is the big Oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah. Because if I'm a Typhon, then I don't really owe any- Whoa, going up, going up. I know there's a fabricator down there, which is what I need, but I don't have time! Because if I'm a Typhon, then I wouldn't have any actual, like, loyal- t I'm out of glue. Ah, fuck it. Ooh, skadoodly. Hi, hi, hi. A wahoo! Okay. Boop, and then boop. Okay, so if I'm a Typhon... Then I don't actually have any loyalty, but in my mind, I would like, fuck it, whatever. But in, in my mind, if they're saying kill them all, maybe that's misleading in terms of, like, saying blow it up. And maybe it's just the Typhon that are all like, hey, kill all those humans. We gotta kill them. They're so crazy and cool and whatever. And I don't know, why is it my own voice that's talking to me? It's like, you know, it ties into the phantoms, like... Do the Phantoms even realize that they're Typhon? You know what I mean? Like, do the Phantoms even realize that they're not human anymore? Just like I wouldn't. I wouldn't know if I wasn't human anymore, so what would be, even be the point of doing anything? Is the excellent question of all of this. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. Uh, but I'm gonna make a decision soon enough, I guess. Oh, boy. It's all gonna come to a head no matter what I do. So we better get to it then. I think the bridge is all the way up tippy toppy, so that'll be easy to get to. <sighs> Talos 1 was designed to rival the wonders of the world. Yeah, sure it was. And I'm about to probably blow it up! Blow it up. Gravity detected. Uh, like maybe... Ooh, thankfully that's still glued up. Okay, maybe Okay, now this is a weird one. This is a bit of a stretch. Where's the bridge? This is a bit of a stretch, but maybe 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 over time 
You know how it seemed like I changed my mind about things and I suddenly became like, I have to blow all this up. Maybe that was less to do with me having a moral difference, but me being influenced by the Typhon over time and holding to their objectives more than my own originally. Because it did seem like over time, Morgan, in even my messages to myself, was like, he changed his mind. At first, he was all about doing this. And then all of a sudden, he was like, no, we gotta blow up the station. We gotta blow it all up. We gotta stop them researching the Typhon. It's too dangerous. Or something like that, which is what the Typhon would say if they didn't want humans to discover the secrets. Morgan, you know what I mean? What's the update on our station? Commander Dahl is making a speedy recovery, and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. Easy as that. Him of the threat to the station and... Fine, Morgan. I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. <sighs> Have I been here before? I don't even remember being here. And let me just. Uh huh. Whoa. Ah. I do not know if I've been here before. Uh-huh. No wave device transmit? What about the, uh, the blowy blowy uppy uppy? Where is that one? Ah! Self-destruct is up there, no wave is down here. No one's gonna talk to me about it? No one's gonna give me any ideas about it? No one's gonna give me one way or the other. No one has any opinions. Apparently. Alright, fine then. Escape pod 8-9. Everyone is secured, but the launch controls aren't responding. Did you follow all the steps on the launch card exactly? Yeah, the klaxon even sounded, but the hatch won't close. We can't separate. Hang on. I'm looking at the schematics. There should be a remote sensor on the explosive bolts. Alika, please, hurry! I see all the leads, but... Wait! This can't be right. Can you launch us from there? Can you at least close the goddamn hatch? Uh, no, I don't think so. Is there a manual crank of some sort? Remmer. Remmer, do you copy? Was there never any intention of having anyone escape this place? Morgan, I don't know if you've seen, but there is alien matter ripping through the hull. You have to move. Bosh, my Every window in this station, it's engulfing the place. It's everywhere. Hang on one second. Let me let me do a real save here. A big boy save. And then see what's going on in the briefing room. Because honestly, who knows? Like, what is going on here? This doesn't make any sense. What's the objective? What's the end objective? Good afternoon, Talos. Shut the up. is served in the cafeteria from 12 to 2 p.m. Please report. Super weird. Requesting new operator. Super weird. What is the end objective? Huh. Okay. Don't know what that was all about, but okay. Ah, shit. God damn it. I just had to slide extra long then. I, all my slides thus far have been really piddly slides, but that one, no. That one was the best. I don't know why I'm going up here, by the way. I'm just trying to explore everything. <sighs> oh, that thing is big and looks angry. Really angry. <sighs> God, let me go up there at least to see what's going on upstairs. Oh, I did go here for the escape pods. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so upstairs. Who? What am I talking to? My name is January 23rd Morgan. Sorry Morgan? to interrupt. Maybe I I see a person who looks like Morgan, you? Morgan, be cautious. Your brother is unstable. He may not permit you to activate the self-destruct. Also, he's armed. Unstable? Is that a joke, Operator? You've let this machine poison you. Did it tell you it's not gonna let you off the station? Go on, tell him. Your brother is correct. When you destroy Talos-1, 
My directive is to ensure that you perish along with it. But you already knew that. It was your idea. No one in their right mind would agree to such a lunatic plan. Not true. History is populated with examples of self-sacrifice for the benefit of others. Easy to say when it's not your skin, robot. I'm sorry, Morgan. You have no idea what that word means. I'm going to put a stop to this nonsense. What the hell? Oh! Okay. Your brother is only stunned. Though, obviously, once you activate the self-destruct, the point is moot. You're still going to activate the self-destruct, aren't you? Please recall, I am acting on your orders. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. Oh. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I'm aware that you primed the arming keys to destroy Talos 1. So I find the activation of this null wave transmitter station puzzling. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos 1 and all the Typhon. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. If you want to activate the null wave, you'll have to kill me. Oh, I don't know what to do! Oh no! <laughs> ah! I wanna. Ah! Uh, fuck. Ugh. I wanna see both ends, I do. I don't know. I don't wanna do that! I don't wanna do this! I've never really trusted January. Why did January kill December? That was the other thing! Why did- wh Who was December? We never answered that question! Did we? Who the fuck was December? All of the optional qu qu like quests are gone. I'm sorry, January. I'll come back for you! That was a- That was a Typhon screen, by the way. Just a- that out there. What? Shuttle landing countdown? Moving. Seattle? What? What does that even mean? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. There's a small amount of time here. Hang on one second. Let me, let me, I'm gonna do this one first. Just, I'm gonna do this. I'm probably gonna end up doing both. I just want to know what this does! Whoa! What is a neuromod? Well, it's both an easy answer and a complicated one at the same time. It is the future, today. More importantly, our past, today. This is the work Transtar does, every employee working together. It's immortality, and it is beautiful. What? Wait, whoa, 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 hang on, hang on a second, wait, hold on there. What? Hey. What? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Just hold on one goddamn second here. I. What? Wait. I just. I just. I. Uh, entering a hidden location. What? I'm bomb. I'm fed in the bone. Hey, what? My fault.
It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind. Or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos I. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but I think it's worth the risk. In the end, he chose to activate the null wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. Oh, I am very glowy. I'm a Typhon! Ooh, I knew it, I think. I have no idea what's going on, though. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. Oh. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. What? Hi, wait, the... Uh, no, the... Yeah. We're gonna shake things up. Like old times. So I was half right. I was half right. I never even considered the possibility that I, that was all like a recreation of Morgan's memories and they're running it through the paces of this like invasion. Fuck. So what ha what and what is this over here? What what is what What is that? I don't know what that means. What would that do? Oh, I have no idea. Hang on, let me try this one. Morning. Reactor detonation. It's finished. All the directives you gave me have been completed, all except one. When the station detonates, it will destroy the Apex Typhon and every trace of technology derived from it, including you. But you know this already. It was your idea, after all. The alien neuromods you carry would pose an unacceptable risk to everyone on Earth if you returned. Have a seat, Morgan. You might as well enjoy the view in your final moments. 
Michaela, this is Morgan. Are you on your way? I'm not going to make it. What? Everything's fine. I got one of the escape pods working. Are you sure? Morgan, something's wrong. There's no time. Trust me. I'll see you Earthside. What? Hey, wait a minute. Can I take Alex with me? I'm gonna try. I don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Oh, sorry. 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 Sorry, Alex. Sorry. Warning. Alex, sorry. Sorry. Please. Uh, oops. Ah. <laughs> ah. Clunkity clunk clunk. Clunkity clunk clunk. Oh, boy. This seems weird. Ah, oh, it's just crazy, huh? Can I run with you? No, I can't. I can't. No. Oh, this seems to be. Seems to be, uh, limiting me, Alex. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to carry you across the threshold of this other place. I didn't even know if anything was gonna happen after I hit that button. It's so weird. It's so weird. I guess not. I guess not. God, this is so weird. So, like, what's weird about it is that this all is a fabrication, and I had every suspicion that it was all a fabrication from the very beginning, and I was just like, <clears throat> but I didn't realize to what level. Microgravity detected. Morgan, I, I had to restrain Igwe several times by punching him. Who knows? I may have killed him. He tried to disable Jaguar. If you try to do the same, I can't let you do it. It is. This station is proof of what happens when Tronstar conducts operations ah, unchecked. If the research survives. Shit. Then the crimes here will continue, and these aliens, if even one survives, they'll escape again and again. Alex made his choice. Now, it is up to you to make the right one. Uh-huh. I already done something there. I've already done something. Good to know that you were punching Igwe, though. That's that's a nice hobby that you got there. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it to the, uh, the shuttle bay in time. I have no idea if I'm gonna make it. I've only got, like, 45 seconds to get there, and I don't think... With all the bullshit that's going on here, I don't think I have enough time, but I'm gonna try. Who oh boy. Oh, so that was that, that was that was the countdown that I saw. Okay, I gotta go to the lobby. Uh, do I have any? I don't have any medkits or anything, but I might just barely make it. I might just barely. Come on, come back, come back, come back. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come on! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I shouldn't have tried to drag Alex. There was a moot point, moot point, moot point. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, that's not a lot of time. Ooh, that's not a lot of time. Oh boy, we got like 11 seconds. I don't think I'm gonna make it. 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 Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm definitely not gonna make it. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, well, well, this is probably bad. Oh my god! Get out the fuck out of my way! Oh boy, oh boy, open up. Open up. I'm here. No, no, I'm here. I made it. Whoop. Warning. Reactor detonation hi. imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. Uh, hi. Sit down. Okay. Here we go. Ready or not, starting debark operations. Pre-flight check is who gives a shit. <laughs> Hang on to your seat. This will be a rough ride. Thanks, doll. Woo. Hey! Oh, bl blam? Oh! I keep having this dream. Uh, you just keep having this dream. That's all you gotta say about that. So let's go to the hidden place again. The fuck? Fuck. Ah, uh, so weird. Ah! Uh! It's finished. How did it do? 
Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind. Or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos One. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to. But it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we had to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here, I want to show you something. So this is pretty much exactly the same as it was before. There is no, because all my choices throughout are exactly the same. Whoa, what what you experienced was, was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. So this is where I'm, I'm just gonna do the other choice. I'm not happy about that. I wouldn't normally do that, but just to see all the possible outcomes. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that! I'm very sorry about that! That was just to see! That was just to see! That was nothing! That- that's not canon! <laughs> that is not canon! I just- that was horrible! Oh, that was a horrible way! <laughs> that was a horrible way to go through all that lovely time on Talos 1 and then just end up killing Alex? Oh my god! Okay, so... <sighs> Alright, to wrap my head around all this, the inter- the most interesting thing about this whole game is the fact that in the end, in the end, your choices are a test. It was a test to see what it could do. And I bet, I bet at the end of the game, if you made really bad choices, like you killed everybody on the way and made really shit choices, like that would be totally different than it was in that instance. And so in the end, your choice of blowing it up or using uh, the null wave transmitter is moot because that already happened. It was what Morgan did originally on that station that affected the universe that they are in today. They made that Typhon have Morgan's cells and then put it in a virtual reality of Morgan's memories on Talos 1. So what Morgan did is different what I did as that Typhon, as the bridge between the species, and in the end there, it it was that recreation of it and putting me in that environment and making me learn everything that was really interesting because 
I, I, I just find it fascinating. It's like a duality to it because it was really interesting at, at the same time being tested, but also it felt like my choices were a little bit moot towards the end there because it was all just a dream. You know, it's that cliche where it's like, oh, it's all just a dream. And then it gives you that one final choice to be like, do I, do I reject your reality and substitute my own or do I actually accept and act as a bridge? Which is the one that I would pick. The one that I killed them is not the one that I would have actually picked. I just did that so you guys could see. The other option, which was horrible. So anyway, that is the end of Prey. This was really, really cool. I could go on for hours probably talking about this and how cool it was, but I will leave it at that, and I will leave it to you guys to figure out the rest of it for whatever you want it to be. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. What is, like, everything that I've missed in this series? What have I missed in here? But how cool is this, this? This was like a long, long game, but I'm really, really glad that I played it through because this was super fun from start to finish. It had so many openings, and if you were doing Completionist, I bet there's probably like another secret ending beyond everything if you did absolutely everything like the right way or absolutely everything the wrong way because there were secrets in there that I didn't fully unlock, like that corpse in the med bay I never got in there to see that, and I really wanted to know the answer. I carried that tracking bracelet with me through the whole game. So you guys will just have to figure it out for yourself and or tell me down in the comments below. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you for joining me on another long Let's Play. This has been a fun, fun time, and I'm super happy that I did this game. So thanks again, and as always, I will see you in the next video.